relentless. Whipping this audio, Craig, I be chefing it. If you don't notice, I'm going. Hey guys, it's Trev. Um, today I'm going to be teaching you guys how I do my syncing on After Effects, mainly for trick shots. Um, yeah, it's it's a new method. I don't think I've seen anyone else use it or teach it before. Um, but no one's really told me about this method. I've, I've experimented it by myself. So if, if anyone's apparently thought of it before me, just let me know. Uh, I'll give credit where it's due, but I, th I thought of this by myself. Um, but yeah, so basically, this is the song I'm gonna be using. Uh, I'm just gonna play it. Yeah, I guess. Look, who is this nigga that come out the trenches? Dropping a project, my flow too relentless. Whipping this audio. Okay, so basically, what I do before I uh, before I sync my clips is what I would do is I would press the asterisk key on my number pad. That would be on the right hand side of my keyboard. If you guys don't have that, you could hold shift and then press one. What this does, it creates markers, then you could go to settings and then just get rid of that number. Um, but yeah, you could just delete that marker. Um, but yeah, if you right click on any marker, you could do settings. So what I did is I marked the beginning of the pre-cam or trick shot, then I marked the shot, and then I marked the end of the trick shot, and then I marked the beginning of the kill cam, um, the shot, and then the end of the kill cam. So yeah, you basically just wanna mark out each beat uh, what I sometimes do, if it's kind of hard to play it by ear, is I would press, uh, I would click on, I would select a song layer, and then I double press L, so I can visualize the beats more. Um, but I usually play it by ear. I pretty much get it every time since I've been editing for like a year or two. Actually, no, yeah, about a year. Um, but just you want to make sure you want to like mark the beats correctly, so your syncing points are on the main beats, so it doesn't feel off. Um, but yeah, once once you have all those beats set up, you want to drag in your clips. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be using this clip. Uh, I'm just gonna scale it up since my my composition is 1440p and this clip is 720, I believe. I'm gonna scale this up twice because um, so that I'm gonna do 200% since two times 720 is 1440. Um, and yeah, so now it's taking up the whole composition, there's no black space, and now we can start syncing. What we wanna do is we wanna select the clip, line it up so it's at the beginning of the trick shot, press Control alt t um, or instead of doing that shortcut, you could right click on the clip, go to time, and then uh, time enable time remapping, which is again, the same thing, Control alt t So once you do that, you should get a diamond at the beginning of the clip and at the end of the clip. So what you wanna do is you wanna just delete the end part of the clip and then you just want to scale it back to how it was. What I do, so I marked it the beginning of the trick shot. So, so this this one he doesn't hit. So I'm I'm gonna keep scrolling until the the start of his first attempt uh, where he hits goes. So like right here maybe. Um, and then I'm gonna drag all the way to where I make mark the shot. And remember, you at first you only want to sync the beginning of the trick shot, the shot, and then the end of the trick shot. So. Then you want to just scroll until you see the, like the muzzle flash, like right there. Then you want to do the end of the trick shot. So like maybe right here. So he shoots and then comes back up like that. And then to end the clip, you just hold Control Shift D to cut it. Um, and then you have this basically. I'm just gonna play it out. It's not synced at all. I don't think it should be. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna play. Look, who is this nigga that come out the trenches? Dropping a project, my flow too relentless. Okay, so it's not it's not really synced at all yet. Um, what you want to make sure is that the points that you choose for your beginning of trick shot and shot they're not too stretched out, so the clip is playing slower than real time. Cause right now this is was this, nigga didn't come out the trench. this is um I think if anything it's faster than normal, which is fine. We don't we're fine with that. We just don't want it playing slower than normal because then we're gonna get frame drops. So once you sync that, you don't want to do anything. Uh, now we're just gonna fill in the other beat. So we're gonna click on this diamond right here. And we're just gonna go on each and every marker we did earlier, and then, yeah, we will do that. So after you've done all those uh, markers, you want to select all of them, press F9, um, which does that, or you could right-click, go to Keyframe Assistant, and Easy Ease. 
And now for all these shortcuts, I'll have them in the description just to make it easier for you guys. Um, yeah, so once you do that, you want to go to the graph editor and you should see something like this. So now you have all the points synced, um, but now, now you're ready to warp the speed of the clip to make it, I guess, some people would call it like to make it flow with the song. So if you see right here, we have two, I guess, lines with circles at the end of them. So the first line with a circle, we want it to be going up. And uh, if you can see, if I click on this one, there's going to be for each, I guess, section, there's going to be two of these lines. So for the first one, it's going to go up and to the left. And for the second one, it's going to go down and to the right. Um, so what you want to make sure when you're doing this is you want to make sure that it's constantly going up. You don't want it to go down like this because if it's going down vertically, that means it's going back in speed. So you do not want that. You want it always to be going up because that's going to be going forward in time. Um, so you want to do that for all of them. You want to make sure it's not a flat line either because that means it's stopping. It's, like it's stopping the clip. So unless you have frame blending, which I'm going to go into in depth later, you don't want to do that because you're going to get frame drops. And that's basically the the main part of syncing is just to not get frame drops and make it flow with the song. So you just want to take the first line with the circle, bring it up and to the left, and then the second line and bring it down and to the right. So we just synced this clip. Let's just see how it looks, and uh, we can go on from there. Look, who is this nigga then come out the trenches Dropping a project, my flow too relentless Whipping this Okay, so that looks, that looks fine Maybe the shot could look a bit better But that, for tutorial sake I think it looks pretty fine, honestly With effects, pan and crop and all that It should look pretty nice Look, who is this nigga then come out the trenches Dropping a project, my flow too relentless And, uh, you can, you can make the, I guess, the graph sharper What people mean by that is just Making the line a bit more flat Um and essentially what we're doing here is we're making the beginning of this little section fast as it's going up vertically very steep and then as it tops off uh, in the middle that's when it slows down and then it goes fast again so Who is this nigga then come out the trench dropping a So right here there's no real frame drop so this is we can we can bend the clip a bit more um we can mess around with this you kind of want to push it until you start seeing frame drop. Who is this nigga then come out the trench dropping a project my flow to Okay, so right here, let me just play it again. Who is this nigga then come out the trench dropping Okay, so right here we were getting some frame drops. So, I'm just going to extend this just to make sure we're going more vertically. If you have a flat line like this, that means it's just playing. There's no flow because it's playing at a constant rate um or a linear rate some might say. Um, but yeah, you want to do that. Maybe I'll just, I won't make the graphs too sharp. Um, and then right here, yeah, that, that looks fine. So let me just play it again, just so you guys can see the final of the, uh, of the pre-cam. Okay, so that looks, that looks fine. Um, I might, like, you could, uh, like, fix, touch up a bit of stuff, but it looks fine in general. There's no real frame drops. It syncs nice with the song. Everything's on beat. So yeah, we're done with the pre-cam and now to move on for the uh, kill cam. Okay, so now for the kill cam. Uh, kill cam's pretty much the same thing, except you could go a little bit harder on the curves on like the, the graph editor, mainly because it's slowed down in the kill cam. You have more frames to work with. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. So I'm just gonna drag in another instance of the clip you could duplicate it with control d um but it's just easier if i just work with a separate clip um since this might have i don't i might want different settings on this clip like color correction or whatever maybe the kill cam looks different for some reason um but yeah so we're going to do the exact same thing control alt t or open the time remap through uh right clicking time and then enable time remapping um so yeah we're going to delete the end keyframe as we did before uh, before and now we're just gonna drag it to the beginning of the kill cam so I just drag it right here okay and then now we're just gonna drag it to the shot right here and then the end of the kill cam right there uh, now I just want to make sure there's enough motion 
Wait, are we missing? I think we might be missing a shot. One sec. Okay, yeah, so we, we missed uh we missed the key from right here, so I'm just gonna add one there. Oh whoops. Okay, click out. Place one there. Alright, so one would be right there. Wait, let me just end of end of that could be like right there. There. Um, but you, you can mostly, uh, choosing the keyframes, uh, it mainly varies just on the end. When you, when you want to end it shot, it's going to be on the shot every time. In the beginning, you could vary that too, but, um, this is just like basic sync. So you could just do it at the beginning of the clip and then the end of the clip, you can choose that. Um, and then as you get more advanced into the syncing and everything, you could choose, uh, different, different ways of choosing points, but that's, that's all I'm going to be doing in this tutorial. So once you've done that, uh, you want to go on these little markers and just click this diamond as we did before. Okay. All right. And now once we have all that synced or uh, all the keyframes pointed out and chosen, uh, we're going to press F9 or right click on this keyframe assistant and easy ease. Um, click on the graph editor. And now we're just going to do the same thing. Pretty much the first the first line with the circle right here, uh, you want to bring it up and to the left and then the second one down and to the right. Just making sure that you're not this this the second part of the the section, every section you're doing, you don't want it to go down. You want it to be going up at a con not at a constant rate, sorry. A constant rate that would make it linear so it would not be synced. You want to change it from being linear as it was before to having a curve so it goes fast slow tops off at the middle and then goes back up so i'm just gonna play this oh i forgot to uh, scale this up um so i just very quickly sync this i just want to see how this looks and then uh yeah we can work on it from there relentless whipping this audio greg i be chefing and if you don't notice i'm going with expressions step to the challenge I okay so that looks fine the beginning of the clip might be a little bit too fast so i'm just gonna set the curves a little stronger on that Oh, let's just see how that looks. Low to relentless, whipping this audio, Greg, I be chefing, and if you don't notice, I'm going with expressions. Step to the challenge, I accept. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Um, like, this, the syncing, it's clean. You can see what's going on in the clip. Um, and then the shot looks nice. You could add maybe shake or pan and crop on anything of that sort. Uh, but yeah, I'm probably going to add a cinematic right here just as a uh, filler. And then I'll probably add some motion blur as well. Um, but yeah, if you guys found this video helpful, please leave a like, leave some support in the comments. Let me know what you guys want me to do next. I want to make more tutorials. I know this isn't like as funny as my other ones or whatever. I just want to be a bit more serious because it's kind of hard to be informative and kind of help uh, at the same time being funny. So I'll, I'll make sure to do maybe some, I guess, comedy or whatever. Uh, trying to be funny with editing. But I think tutorials, I want to keep them kind of more focused. Um, but yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll uh, see you guys next time for the next tutorial and edit. Peace.